Duke Manuel? Well, well. Monsieur de Richet, I was not expecting you. I am not in the mood, sir, I warn you. What do you want from me, sir? I see you're still feeling under pressure. Since your arrival, I've noticed that you've been on the defensive. Huh. It seems to me that Monsieur Perru has a knack for getting your back up. That is the least you can say. Indeed. I was warned. I knew what to expect. For God's sake! Why in the hell did your people execute their king? Have the French gone stark, raving mad? There are nothing but monarchies in power in Europe. They will all come crashing down on you. We shall see. It might well turn out to be the opposite. <laughs> you certainly do not lack for audacity, young man. Just tell me one thing, monsieur. Why did you side with Mortimer? He is alone. Isolated. The United States can do nothing to help you, and France is surrounded by over ten countries just waiting for the word to pounce. Really. I do not see why you choose Mortimer. The Golden Order, my friend. The Order is everywhere. We come from France, we are President of the United States, England, and many other countries. We have ambitions and the means to carry them out. You'll see, once all hell breaks out and your English support starts to fade away. The Order is an international organization. It matters little what governments do. Otherwise, why would Mortimer have gone to the trouble of inviting my mother? Hmm, ah. If you are right, Sir Gregory has got it all wrong. Tell me, do you really believe Spain has any interest in ceding Louisiana to France? My Lord Duke, you know as well as I do that our common enemy is and will always be England. I don't believe you look favorably at its embargo on France. Its ships cross the Atlantic Ocean right up to your coastline. Do not even mention it. If those tea drinkers try anything in these waters, I will send the whole of the Spanish fleet to calm them down. Tell me one last thing. What would I gain from all this? If you continue with home, our two countries will become rivals. They could turn into war. Who knows? It is likely, even. A war, Duke Manuel. On our own territories. Do you really see yourself committing the Kingdom of Spain to an armed conflict against France? Can you imagine the financial investment required, not to mention the loss of lives and dishonor at the slightest defeat? Do you see yourself being the man responsible for that? No. But you are the one who's pushing me into it, you damned Frenchman! I'm not pushing you into anything, Duke Manuel. If you are a man of the future and of progress, as I'm given to believe, you will know how much suffering a war would bring. Come on, you fool, give it up. You're trapped like a rat. Monsieur, I am astounded. I did not think you capable, but you have succeeded. I will be more wary of you the next time. Nonetheless, if you can guarantee Lord Mortimer's support, then yes, you can count on my vote when the time comes. However, I expect you to be discreet with regard to my former partners, without which our agreement will become null and void. Of course, my Lord Duke. You can count on me. Lord Mortimer will be delighted to hear the news. I hope you know what you are getting into, Louis. I bid you good luck. Good night, my Lord Duke. See you tomorrow. Well. That's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. <laughs>